okay today we are going to demonstrate the verification of superposition theorem uh, this is the circuits and control slab the first experiment is verification of superposition theorem so you can do discrete also or you can do using simulation also i will do simulation uh, for that you open multi sim tool okay once you open double click the multi sim tool so this is the multi sim 14.2 version so you can go to the file new okay click uh, blank design okay this is the blank blank window here you have to rig up this circuit so what are the components you have to uh, pick and place is four resistors 5 ohm 10 ohm 10 ohm and 20 ohm okay and one voltage source and one current source okay so what is superposition theorem statement is uh, in general superposition theorem states that the overall response is equal to sum of algebraic sum of individual response first step is identify how many sources are there here two sources are there one is ideal voltage source another is ideal current source so voltage source value is 20 volts current source is 4 amps so to find the overall response you have to consider all the sources acting together so 20 volts also you have to include 4 amps also you have to include rig up the circuit and check the current through 20 ohm resistor using multimeter or ammeter or you connect on current probe so that is the overall response after that you have to consider how many sources are that much uh, cases you have to consider here uh, first uh, 20 volt source is there another is 4 amp source is there so you have to do now two cases first case is you have to consider only 20 volt source is acting and you have to make this current as zero how to make current source as zero you have to make uh, current source zero by open circuit this any this closed path now become open the current becomes zero so completely you can remove this so that is the uh, you're going to get response in 20 ohm that is due to only 20 volts acting alone so that is the i1 you have to note down after that second case you have to consider only four amps current source is acting alone and this voltage source you have to make zero how to make zero you have to double click on this and make zero or you can completely remove this and short circuit voltage source okay this resistance still will be there because you are short circuiting but in the current source once you remove this complete uh, path you are going to remove and any resistance if it is there that is redundant any resistance in series with the current source is redundant okay if you remove this this resistance also will go but here there is no resistance ideal current source so two cases you have to consider first case current due to 20 volts is i1 next current in 20 ohm due to 4 amps alone that is i2 so super question theorem states that overall response uh, is equal to sum of individual response so overall response by considering 20 and 4 amps acting together let us consider that current as i so i is equal to i1 plus i2 okay overall response is equal to current due to 20 volts and current due to 4 amps so two cases you have to consider because two sources are there if three sources are there you have to do three cases so there i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so let us rig up the circuits so four resistors 5 10 10 20 20 amps at this one so go to tool so this is the place where you can place the component place component so here you can check the resistor value database is master database and you can go to basic group is basic in the basic you will find the resistor okay by default one kilo will be selected so that you can place and later you can modify so i place at the 1k so next once again 1k two resistors next once again resistor but this you have to keep vertical so in order to rotate uh, in the keyboard you have to press ctrl and r r for rotate so ctrl r if i click it will rotate once again one more resistor okay then control r once again now four resistors are over 
So you have to change the values of resistors. So this is uh, 5 ohm. So double click on 1K. Change the value to 5 ohms. Similarly, you have to double click on next resistors and you have to change to suitable value. So I think this is 10 ohms. Similarly, you have to change all the resistor values as per circuit given in the exam. So in the exam, they may give any circuit. You should do uh, the procedure. Overall response you find out. After that, you find out individual response considering only one source acting at a time. And how to make current is equal to zero? You have to make current is equal to be zero by open circuit mm -hmm. that. Okay. Just 21. So four resistors, 5, 10, 10, and 20. Now you have to place uh, current source and voltage source. So that is available in the place component. Here group, you have to select sources group. In the sources group, there is a power source tab. Here you can get, uh, I think, uh, a DC power. This is a symbol plus minus plus minus. One DC power we want. And uh, one current source. Current source, it is available in signal voltage source, signal current source. You have to click on signal current source and you have to select DC current. And you have to change. And one more power on ground, you have to consider on ground because with respect to that, you have to measure. So it is available in power sources, uh, ground button. This is not given. You have to consider on ground should be there to measure voltages and all. So now uh, let me check what is the value of voltage value is 20 and current is 4 amps. This is 5, 10, 10, 20. 20 amps, 20 volts and 4 amps. So aim is you have to find current through 20 ohm resistors. So this is the overall current you have to find here. And after that, individual currents you have to find here. So now 20 volts and 4 amps. So I'll double click on voltage source. By default, 12 volts is there. Change this one, this uh, double click on this voltage source value, change it to 20 volts. So voltage value change it to 20 volts. And current value change it to instead of 1, change it to 4 amps. Next, we have to complete all the circuit. Go to edge of this. Click on this. Stop here. Again, click here. Using mouse, click automatically, it will join. You cannot start in between like this. From here, you cannot take. So, always connection should be from one end up component like this you should be. Okay, this is a circuit diagram of this. This you can keep select all and you can keep like this. Okay. This is now I am finding overall response here. So in order to find the overall response uh, take uh, this is a current. Uh, this is the, in fourteen point one and two. There is a probes. Okay, go to current probes. So here current probe now that I can place here. So here you can see the current value, DC value. Or you can do uh, take a place component and place a indicator, multimeter uh, meter will be. There. If you connect a meter, you have to connect in series between these two. Okay, now I connected on uh, current uh, marker probe. So it is showing uh, DC value you have to check. This is the DC circuit. So this DC value you have to note down. 
okay now let me check what is the overall response now so this should be interactive in simulation simulation type should be okay it should be first one that is interactive first one very first one simulation so it is here it should display interactive now it is already okay now if i run this it will show the current value you can see what is the overall current see what is the current direction let me check it is showing minus its current is this is plus minus 20 this current 4 amps is going upwards okay Actually, the current is flowing. So you have to find out not this current. You have to connect uh, probe here. No, you have to find out overall response in 20 amps. So you have to stop the simulation. Red color is for stop. This is. So I want to actually I place out the probe here only. That is not required because we have to find out. See the question. Question is what? Find current through. 20 ohm resistor here i have to place actually a meter uh, by mistake i placed it here so you have to place here because i want the current through 20 ohms so again here i go to place uh, this is the probe current probe i'll place here so it will show current value here now run this is a green button for run it will show now what is the value you can see What is the current you note down? DC current is 2 amps. 2 amps is the overall response because we are considering all the sources acting together. 20 volts voltage source, 4 amps current source acting together. The net response or overall response, the current in 20 ohm resistor is 2 amps. Now you have to consider two cases because two sources are there. First, you consider only 20 volts source acting alone. Find individual response due to this 20 volts. And at that time, you have to make this current is equal to zero by open circuit. Second case, you have to consider only four amp circuit and you have to make this voltage source is equal to zero by short circuit. That time note on the current value. Now the overall response should be equal to current response due to 20 volts current response due to 4 amps. If you add those two current, it should result 2 amps. Then your uh, superposition theorem is verified. So now, once again, you have to consider, you have to place 5, 10, 10, 20. Now in discrete lab, what you are going to do, you already taken the components now. So you have to just uh, uh, remove this. So here in the simulation, let the original circuit be as it is, control C, send left all, control C, copy, okay. And you have to place control V. I am copying. So, first you have to say here it is running actually. That's why it is not done. So, you have to stop the simulation. Okay, now copy the circuit. Control C and control V. Okay, before that, uh, you can place here on uh, text so that uh, we will note down here the overall response. Okay, I total. Okay, actually, I overall response. Or you can write I total or overall response. You can write we are getting two amps. Note down this. Or I think better uh, overall response. Hmm. Overall response is two amps. Now, uh, this case I will consider only twenty volts. So I am deleting the current source. Select this. Okay, click the mouse. Select this. 
and delete it. Okay, now current source is made zero. Current source is made zero. This is a case one. Okay, only 20 volts voltage source is acting alone. Now again re-simulate this interactive. Simulate this note down I1. So what is I1? It is 400 milliamps. That is because of this voltage source alone. Okay. If you want to do some theoretical analysis, you can do mesh analysis, write two mesh equations, find I1 and I2. I2 is the value of the current through 20 ohm resistor. Okay. Write mesh analysis, two meshes, mesh equation one, mesh equation to solve that. I2 is gives the current through this R20 ohm resistor. So you are going to get 400 milliamps. So this is, if you write in terms of uh, amps, you are going to get uh, 0.4 milliamps. Okay. Current is equal to, okay, 400 milli. 400 milli is equal to, is equal to 0.4 amps. So you have to note down that. So I'm placing one text, I'm writing here that value. Current due to 20 volt source, voltage source. So which is equal to I1, which is equal to 0.4 amps. Okay, due to 20 volts current, due to 20 volts source is I1, which is 0.4 ohms. So, superposition theorem states that overall response is 2. First response is we are getting uh, 0.4. So, another old current source, if you consider, remaining 1.6 should come from that source. So, once again, you copy the original circuit. So, stop the circuit simulation. This is red color for stop. So, copy the circuit. Okay, control C, copying and paste here, control V. And now, you have to make voltage source is equal to zero. So, click this, delete this. Now, short 5 ohms to here. Voltage source is zero. Zero means short circuit. Okay. So this is, we are considering only four amps acting alone. This voltage source is made zero. Now, now here also, you have to find out what is the current passing through 20 ohm resistor due to this four amps alone. So now simulate, click run button, note down this. So you should get 1.6. So that 1.6 plus 0.4 will give you oral response of two. Let us check, uh, are we getting 1.6 are not here. I am running this. Yes, we are getting 1.6 amps in the 20 ohm resistor. So we can place one more text box here. The current due to, okay, uh, I due to 4 amps current source. acting alone okay so that is i2 is equal to 1.6 amps okay we are getting i due to 4 amps current source that is i2 is equal to 1 amp. so now add i1 and i2 I1 is 0.4, I2 is 1.6. If I add I1 and I2, we are getting 2 amps. So, which is indirectly the overall response is equal to, okay, overall response is equal to algebraic sum of individual response. That is the statement of superposition theorem. So, we verified superposition theorem. Superposition theorem states that overall response, that means all the sources acting together, you have to find current through any resistor, okay? And that is actually overall response. After that, you have to find, consider only one, one source at a time. 
other sources you have to make zero so for a year we have taken one voltage source and one current source okay if both are voltage sources how to make voltage source zero means short circuit or change to short circuit or change the value to zero if any current source are there you have to open circuit that branch so that current becomes zero so two cases here first case is 20 volts acting alone i1 is uh, 0.4 second case and we consider voltage source current source we made voltage source is equal to zero and the same load 20 ohm resistor find out i2 so in the first case current in 20 ohm resistor due to this one is 0.4 due to 4 amps current in 20 ohm is i2 which is 1.6 so add these two 1.6 plus 0.4 is 2 amps so we verified superposition theorem okay so in the examiner whatever circuit they give for example one more voltage source somewhere here it is given we have to consider three cases okay so consider all at a time find the response after that individual responses consider one acting at a time okay thank you